Hello, I'm Lee Barnes and I'm a designer at the Intermarketing Agency in Leeds. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Illustrator's live colour tool to create a colour group and generate a colour group based upon colour harmonies and save yourself some time basically. Um, the live colour tool can be found by going to edit and edit colours and then just clicking on recolor artwork. So the first thing to do will be to the orange colour here is a key colour. I'm pretty happy with that colour at the moment, but as you can see, these colours here are clashing quite badly. Um, I'd like to find some complementary colours to surround this key colour in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to go to Edit Colours, Recolor Artwork. This will bring up the Live Colour panel. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of buttons. Um, but for now, what we'll do is go to Edit, and it will bring up a colour wheel. As you can see, these little anchors here correspond to the colours that we've got selected at the moment within our artwork. Now this is the orange, is the key colour that I selected um, and wanted as the key colour before. If it isn't um, the correct one, so say if you wanted this green to be your key colour um, and you were happy with that colour and you wanted to base the colour palette around that colour, what you want to do is click on the green with the right mouse and just set as base colour. And if you do that will change the anchor to a larger one with a double ring. Now, there's many different ways you can edit this colour palette. Um, one of the ways is to simply click and drag the points. As you see, it will change the colours as a group. Another way would be to click here. If you click on the drop down box, it will give you a range of options which are based upon harmony rules of your base colour. So as I said before, I'm going to go for something sort of... So with that in mind, I'm going to click on left complement, because I quite like these turquoise hues that it's bringing up. And as you can see, it will change my artwork to sort of suit um, all of the colours that I've selected. But that's not to worry. What I can do is delete the colours that I don't want by clicking on the Remove Colour tool and then simply just click in on each of the colours that I don't like. And again, they've gone quite pale, but we do have this complementary colour scale and group working on the opposite sides of the colour wheel there. So as I said before, if you click on Unlink, you're then free to slightly tweak these colours to whatever suits. And have a play around with them. Yeah, I think that's working quite well. And once you're happy with that, what you need to do is click on this little icon up here, which says New Color Group. That'll pop that color group as three separate swatches within a group into your color groups panel here. And then click OK and they apply those changes that you made to your artwork. Also what you'll notice, the great thing about the Live Colour Tool is it'll pop a group of colours, you can collapse and expand that group and the great thing about it is if you double click it you can actually go into it again and make changes. So I hope that helps you out and uh, feel free to play around with it, there's plenty more opportunities to be had and uh, plenty of good things to be had with your work. Cheers.